so I'm sorry if it's like really loud. I really need to clean back there. But. Okay, so we're gonna laminate. Um, it's currently 8.32 p.m. right now, and earlier I finished um, a couple of orders that actually went out already. My fiance helped me drop off the packages, and usually whenever he's at home, he will help me as um, because I don't like going to the postal office. I feel like every time I go and I drop off, there's there's like an issue with the order. Um, a couple of weeks ago, it was really bad where I had packages missing and then was found like a couple of days later. So it really stressed me out. It feels like a gamble every time I drop off because I really don't know if it's going to get scanned. Sometimes it doesn't get scanned until a day or two later. I don't know what's going on, but I have to just pray that, you know, it goes out because if it doesn't, I actually feel really bad and I will try to send out a replacement um, just because I feel bad that, you know, my customers paid for the product and something went wrong. And I know that it's not my, um, my problem to solve, but I do feel bad. So sometimes I will remake the order, but I don't know if I can keep doing that because I'm just losing out on so much money when I do that. And I've done that just a handful of times, so it's not too bad, but I just don't have good luck with dropping off packages. Um, so I usually have my brother or my fiance do it for me. Most of the time when they do it, they have no issues. I think it's because they go inside and sometimes I just drop it off in the little collection box outside and maybe I shouldn't do that yeah, so the goal is to get down to at least 30 orders by tonight I'm currently at 37 but I do have um, some replacement orders that I need to um, finish and send out and I know there's not a deadline and replacements I do feel bad whenever a customer reaches out and says like, oh, you know, this this item fell apart or something, like I really stand by my product. So um, I would do whatever it takes to, you know, send out um, a replacement. So on every order, I know Etsy gives you an estimated date of when I would ship your order. So my processing times, um, so yeah, let me go ahead and clear this up for you guys. If you didn't know um, I get a lot of questions regarding um, processing times and when will and people will message me saying um, when will their items ship I know that as a buyer once I buy something on Etsy um, even before I buy on Etsy Etsy will provide me a time frame of when the item would ship it'll tell me oh this this seller takes this X amount of time to process their orders and then after the processing times are completed there will be you know the time frame to get it shipped but the processing times remains the same for the seller like let's say for me my processing time is two to four weeks so that means from the date that you purchase from my shop it will take me about two to four weeks two at the earliest and four weeks at the latest to ship out your order and after that after I ship out your order USPS handles all the deliveries so if there's anything that goes wrong with your order let's say um, I ship it out and you don't get any updates like honestly I see the same thing as you do yeah you can reach out to me and let me know because sometimes I'm not tracking all of that so it would be nice to let me know and so I can look into the problem for you as well and check in to see if it was ever scanned if it was lost or whatever the case may be um, but usually if something happens on, on USPS's end you would file a claim and that way you can get your money back or um, something right there will be a solution to your problem if a package was delivered was marked as delivered but you didn't receive it um, that's something that I've I've gotten as well uh, message to me and 
in that case, I, I don't refund you um, once again because I already made the product and I sent it out. So you would have to contact USPS and um, ask them more information about that tracking information and file a claim with them. And then you can go on to Etsy and file a claim on Etsy as well. And most of the time you would get a refund. Um, I know before as an Etsy seller, um, Etsy wasn't protecting us as a seller. And whenever I had an issue with an order like that went missing or whatever the case may be, um, I felt like it was my problem to solve. So I would send out a replacement. Um, now Etsy has a protection program for sellers, so I'm very grateful for that. So if um, I send out a product and it was marked as delivered but really wasn't or whatever the case may be is lost, um, I would still get to keep the money that you paid um, because I made the product and I sent it out. Like I did my job, I did my portion of it and then it was all all on USPS and if something happened during that transit then it's not on me and it's not on you so you can file a claim with Etsy and get your refund and Etsy would have to pay you and let me keep my money anytime you guys see me go on vacation mode it's not because I'm on vacation it's because I'm just very busy and I'm working on orders let's put this to the side Okay, so now we are going to cut. So like I said, I'm really sorry about the processing times and how I've increased it, but I won't be increasing it anymore. I feel like once my mo my mother-in-law comes back, I will be right on track. And um, my fiance is working a little less from his um, current job, so he'll be able to help me more at home. I'm not not sure where I left off, but I had to put my son down and Haley is like potty training right now So she needs me very often so I can take her to the restroom So yeah, I think I might just cut it here for today. It's 9.05 right now I am going to cut these A7s and this is another like three-ish orders, I think. So by the time I finish this, we'll be down to 34 orders, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I really like watching behind the scenes um, of like of, of a small business owner. I don't know why. I love it. I love packaging videos. So um, I want to try to incorporate more of these videos on my channel. I will still do my cash stuffing of course but since I sell cash envelopes and I do cash stuffing I thought you know it ties in together well so I am going to be posting more content like this and I hope you guys join me. Okay I'm gonna continue working for the rest of the night maybe, maybe for another like four hours and see where that gets me. So yeah I hope you guys have a great night and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!